Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Emanuel Aska and William Steinitz. This is a game from the World Chess Championship, played in 1894. Emanuel Aska had white pieces and he started with e4. William Steinitz played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Bishop to b5. The Spanish game. What would Steinitz play? against the Spanish game. Can you guess? Steinitz played the Steinitz defense. d6, d4, threatening d5, bishop to d7 and pinning, white to move, knight to c3. This remains the most popular move even in our AI age. Knight on g to e7, bishop to e3, Knight to g6, Queen to d2, Bishop to e7, and Lasca castle at Queen's side. If you are looking for a model game how to play against the Stanis defense, look no further. This is the way. a6 asking a question, Bishop to e2, e takes on d4, Knight takes on d4, Knight takes on d4, Queen takes Knight on d4. Bishop to f6, attacking the queen, queen to d2, bishop to c6, knight to d5, and Steinitz castle at kingside, white to move. Emanuel Aska played g4, threatening g5, h4, and so on. Rook to e8, g5. Black to move, what is the best move for black in this position? What would you do? Steinitz played the best move, bishop takes on d5. If bishop to e7, then h4, and white is better. Bishop takes on d5, queen takes bishop, rook to e5, queen to d2, bishop takes on g5, winning a pawn. Black is a pawn up, but now comes f4. Rook takes on e4, f takes on g5. Queen to e7. The threat is rook takes bishop. The rook is also exiling the bishop on e2. Rook from d to f1. Rook takes bishop on e3. Bishop to c4. This is the critical position of the game. In this position, William Steinitz played knight to h8, defending the pawn on f7 that way. There was a better way and that is rook to f8. If now h4, then b5, attacking the bishop, the bishop must guard e2 square. After bishop to d3, then queen to e5, and the black is ok. And let's go back. If in this position h5, then b takes on c4, and after h takes on g6, f takes on g6, and black is doing well. Back to our game. Knight to h8. The knight is defending the pawn on f7, but it is very poorly placed. h4, c6, intending d5. g6, d5. g takes on h7, check. King takes pawn. Bishop to d3 check, king to g8, h5, rook to e8. After 26 moves, black is better materially. Two pawns, but black king's safety is a concern. The game continued. h6, g6, naturally keeping the g file closed. If g takes on h6, rook from f to g1 is unpleasant. g6. And now h7 check, king to g7, white to move. Emmanuel Aska went into some deep thinking and decided to take care of his king's safety. First, before committing to attack on the black king, he played king to b1, queen to e5, and now a3, just in case to avoid problems on the first rank down the line. c5 threatening c4 queen to f2 c4 where is the bishop going 
What is the best square for the bishop? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause or did you find? Emmanuel Laska played a queen to h4. Black to move f6. If c takes on d3, then queen to h6 check mate. f6, making the room for the king. White to move. What is the best square for the bishop now? What would you do? Emmanuel Laska played bishop to f5. I guess that most players would capture the pawn on g6. Do you agree? The move that Emmanuel Laska played is stronger. Let's see why. Bishop to f5 was played. And now king to f7. If now g takes on f5, then rook from h to g1 check. And after king to f8, rook to g8 check. After king to e7, rook from f to g1. And white is better. Back to our game. King to f7. Rook from h to g1. Pawn takes bishop now. Queen to h5 check. King to e7. Rook to g8. King to d6 looking for a safer spot. Rook takes on f5 attack in the queen. It is easy to see now how king to b1 and a3 were useful. The game continued. Queen to e6. Rook takes rook. Queen takes rook. Rook takes on f6 check. King to c5. Queen to h6. Black to move. Rook to e7. If queen to e7, one line goes like this. Rook to f8, rook to e6, rook to c8, check, rook to c6, queen to d2, queen takes on h7, queen to b4, check, king to d4, rook takes knight, and black is advised not to take the rook, perhaps queen to d7 should be played, if queen takes rook then check, X-raying the queen and winning the queen. Back to our game. Rook to e7. In a difficult position it is easy for black to miss something. Queen to h2. Well, queen to d2 was even stronger. Queen to h2. Queen to d7. Queen to g1 check. d4. What if the king goes to b5 instead? Then queen to b6 check, and after king to a4, queen to b4 check, mate. Back to our game. d4, queen to g5 check, queen to d5, and now white plays the obvious, and the obvious is rook to f5, queen takes rook, queen takes queen check, king to d6, White played the move and black resigned and the move is queen to f6 check. Steinitz resigned in view of this continuation. King to d7, queen takes on d4 check. King to c6, queen takes knight. That was the game from the round 7. The final score of the match was Laska won 10 games, Steinitz won 5 games, there were 4 draws. Quite convincing victory by Immanuel Aska. But Stanitz was no longer at his peak, and his fans were saying that Stanitz's health was poor at the time of the match, and that he was not his usual self. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.